Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. Um, right now in this lull period, I'm catching up on a lot of showcases for units I just didn't get around to um, when they were dropping throughout the last several months. Um, we're going to start here with uh, the EZA STR Great Ape Raditz. Um, now, I don't really know how else to word this besides I don't think he's going to be that impressive. Uh, it's just like, I don't know... Like... I think that they easy aid these great apes, so it's it's um the great ape Vegeta, the great ape Kid Goku, and the great ape Raditz. Um, they easy aid them in a period of time. If you look at a lot of Dokkan's releases, um, I would say probably uh, from like October to the end of January. So like October 2021 to the end of uh, January 2022. Um, a lot of those units are just they've just fallen off of a cliff because of the anniversary, right? Um, I feel like Dokkan did a very poor job um, in making these sort of, like, pre-anniversary units, like, good enough. Um, so, like, they, they just all immediately cratered, right, as soon as Red Zone, 200% leader skills, you know, LR, Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, all this stuff dropped. These characters just became shit, quite honestly. Um, now, l let's see. You know, I I'm sure this Raditz might be able to put up some decent numbers. Um, one thing about these three Great Ape EZAs in particular that is important um, is... Oh my god, we got a third turn out of this? Okay, sure. He's not exactly doing a lot of damage, if you guys notice, but sure. Uh, he is giving himself two key in his Great Ape form, which is, is fine, I guess. Um, but, I mean, he's not really doing any damage whatsoever. Um, the three Great Apes, so Raditz, um, uh, the Kid Goku, and the Vegeta. Uh, the thing about them is they are on some very low-level category teams, including Giant Form, right? So that does give them actually a lot of value, even if I think they're really not that impressive. Um, because, again, we're talking about incredibly uh, an incredibly weak team. All right, this sucks. Right. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> Amazing showcase already. Um, all right, so easy a Great Ape Raditz right here, huh? Um, he gets 50% from his super attack effect, both attack and defense. He gets 80% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he gets 15% attack and defense per key sphere obtained. Um, then he gets another 80% attack uh, on super attack if HP is 80% or less. Now, I'm sure Great Ape Raditz might be able to put up some decent numbers when we pair him up next to Dokkan Fest Raditz, right? Um, also, keep in mind that Raditz is one of these characters that has two 200% leader skills, right? Um, because they dropped Captain Ginyu and then immediately followed it up with, with Raditz, right? So, a lot of these same characters are on a 200% leader skills multiple times. Um, now keep in mind, we're getting 60% support on this rotation. Uh, Birder and Jace give 60% support, uh, if Captain Ginyu is on rotation. Alright, let's, uh, let's see how much damage we do right here from Raditz. I was, what, seven orbs? I mean... Considering this is no links activated, right? What does he have? Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Transform, Saiyan Roar, and Shattering the Limit. Um, considering the links he's got, right? Oh, uh, he's got some good stuff. Let's see what he does. 2.32. I mean, this is a pretty minimal turn. I feel like he does look okay. Like, his defense was not the worst, right? Because greatly raising attack and defense on his super attack effect is pretty good. I could definitely see him, you know, 200% lead next to maybe like Dokkan Fest Raditz, right? Most of his links activated. He double supers, and this guy could be at or around 400k defense, which is definitely solid. Um, and that's definitely where like this Raditz, um, I think, could potentially be fairly helpful in like giant form, um, extreme super battle road, stuff like that, right? And it's like these characters will be able to help just because of how limited those category teams are and how... Um, unimpressive uh like the roster is for those those teams right um i think we're probably gonna finish off this phase of gogeta right here let me let me just let the turn play out um i just wanted to do a quick warm-up run uh on ginyu's 200 team and then after this we'll go to raditz's team uh you know dokkan fest raditz's team uh, the other thing too is that great ape raditz would certainly be a lot more impressive um, if I think if Dokkan Fest Raditz was better, right? Like, if they, if they had made Dokkan Fest Raditz, like, an actual, like, top-tier unit, right? Like, it, maybe that, this could have made um, Great Ape Raditz uh, a bit more viable. But, I mean, it is, it, it, it's hard to say for sure. 
Um, yeah, it looks like we're going to finish off this phase. Okay, we only got one turn. It wasn't really the greatest turn, but we did see his Grid Ape transformation, which is another part of the showcase. Um, let's go to Raditz, the Doe Confess Raditz team, and we'll fill up the team with, like, Nappa and, you know, Raditz and maybe, like, Version Z Goku, stuff like that. All right, guys, now we're over here on the sort of, like, Saiyan Saga team. So, uh, I think Raditz will definitely be able to work a, a lot better on this team. Um, because Raditz is working much better with the leader of the team, Raditz, than he does with, um, Captain Ginyu, right? So, we have a lot of characters that should make Raditz look better, right? Like, we have, like, uh, Nappa. Nappa, of course, is a Saiyan Saga support type unit, so that's gonna help Raditz. Um, now Raditz, y you would think that Double Confess Raditz and Great Ape Raditz would link better than just the four links. They have Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, a Brutal Beatdown, and Nightmare. Um, and then with Nappa, I believe it's... It's, um, Brutal Beatdown and Saiyan Warrior Race. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I guess we'll just leave Nappa on rotation with Raditz. The other thing that might... I think we are... I think we do have Raditz's passive. I think we actually are below 80% right here. We'll be able to get six orbs. Okay, so we're gonna have support. We're gonna have a bunch of links activated. We got six orbs. 180k? That's a little low, dude. I mean, it's like, we'll look better with Saiyan Roar activated, for sure. And I did bring the AGL Grade 8 Vegeta. So we could, like, get him on a rotation to sort of see what, what it looks like with Saiyan Roar, I guess. Um, all right, Nappa with the dodge. Cool, cool, cool. Nappa's still pretty solid, right? I mean, if, if your health is really, really low, then you're probably not going to want to run him in slot one. But I, I think Nappa actually can be a fairly competent unit. I, I don't think Nappa is bad at all, right? Um, three million right there. Yeah, it, see, it's like Raditz is like, like, he's like subpar or something like that. This is going to lower his defense. Oh, no. Okay, this is... Okay, he doubled his tank right there. Seven million? Okay, Raditz. <laughs> Remember that Dokkan Fest Raditz? The one time his damage looks pretty good um, is when the enemy has below, I think it's 50% HP. Like, that attack set for Raditz, I was, like, you don't usually see it. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the second time in this run that this Vegeta has transformed, by the way, already. So, all right, give me two seconds. I'm just going to cut through this because this takes forever, these damn Great Ape transformations. Um, okay, I mean, 3 million is not the worst by Great Ape Raditz. Uh, that, that's the thing where it's like, you know, giant form Super Battle Road, or like if there's like a low class warrior Super Battle Road in the future, like in those instances, they could be okay. All right. So we got a pretty decent rotation for Raditz here. Um, Link set. It's like, yeah, you look at his Link set, man. And it's like, at a glance, you think, oh, it's super good. You know, you got Saiyan lineage in there. You got Saiyan warrior race, brutal beatdown, nightmare, Saiyan war, all awesome. But it's like kind of the mix, right? Like, I mean, there's some definite solid, I think, like, pure Saiyans that have Saiyan lineage and stuff like that, for sure. But I, I feel like a lot of these sort of, like, Saiyan Saga Saiyans you almost are going to end up running Raditz with don't really have Saiyan lineage, right? Like, who who has it? You have the Dokkan Butoden Vegeta has got it. Um, I, Dokkan Fest Raditz does, right? But, like, Nappa and then, like, the Great Ape Vegetas don't have Saiyan lineage. Um... Saiyan Roar certainly is a very powerful link, but, it, you know, it's very, very specific Saiyan characters that have that, only that have, like, Great Ape Transformation and stuff like that. Um, I do like Brutal Beatdown and Nightmare, though. Those are pretty common villain links we'll be able to activate, so I don't know. Um, eight orbs right here with a lot of support. So, I mean, we got Turles giving 40% attack and defense. What is Nappa giving? Nappa has a weird support ability. Nappa's giving... 37% attack and 38% defense on this turn is what Nappa's giving. Look at, dude, 452. Nappa's good. Like, he, there's a lot of rotations where Nappa's really good, man. He really is. Um, all right, let's see what we get right here. We did, we're not under 80% HP, right? So we get more damage. 3.17 right there. Okay. Um, again, we get a nice little buff when HP falls below 80%. But it's just like, you, you can see, man. Like, this guy is just not... Oh, what a terrible rotation. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, whatever, man. The good news about this rotation, right, is that we got a lot of orbs for Raditz next turn. Uh, I don't think we're going to die here. Yeah, as long as this wasn't a super attack, <clears throat> I don't think we'll die. Um, we'll take a lot of damage. Um, hopefully, Raditz does not transform into a great ape, or Vegeta doesn't transform into a great ape. One of these bastards hopefully doesn't do that. Next rotation is probably going to be the best rotation we're going to see from this Raditz. Um, because we're going to have Grid Vegeta with him, so we're going to have Saiyan Roar up. 
Shattering Limit and stuff like that. We have Turles on rotation still with the support. So, and, you know, I do have some orb changing items. So, if we need to, we can do a little orb changing so that Raditz um, can look uh, really effective here. Okay, uh, please super, Goku. Super. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. I was going to say, dude, just please. <laughs> uh, ow. All right, so, um, it is a strong rotation. The only thing, damn, dude, if he... We got to run Turles in slot one right here. I'm going to do this. Um, just because I, I'm just going to do any orb changing we can. Just get to just get more orbs for Raditz. More and more and more power and more and more and more damage for Raditz, man. 11 orbs. Pretty good. Um, I, we did orb change, but, you know, tough titties, man. <laughs> tough. Tough. 268 he's at right here, huh? Um, and then when he super attacks, right, super attack effect, he'll get another 50%. So... Not exactly red zone level, but, I mean, he can have some okay stats, I guess. We have most of his links activated. What is not activated right now? Um, I think it's just Saiyan Lineage and Nightmare are the two links that are not up at currently right now. Uh, the rest of his links. So we have Saiyan Warrior Race, Brutal Beatdown, Transform, Saiyan Roar, and Shattering the Limit all activated. All right, let's see what Raditz does in terms of damage right there. 7.24. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's quite the leap. Jesus. Okay, so that turn a couple turns ago, I guess I was at exactly 80% HP. Yeah, I mean, that that's that's good damage. <laughs> I can't hate on that. Like, I did not expect Raditz to just draw. All right, here's a 7 million spot. God damn, boy. Okay. Sure, man. Sure, sure. Oh, why don't we get Raditz's uh, active skill in here, too, man? Uh, you know what? I, I get the feeling I'm not going to use Dokkan Fest Raditz very often, so let's play his active skill. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and see what we get uh, with this rotation for our boy Raditz. Um, we will have Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, uh, Nightmare, and Brutal Beatdown all activated right here. We'll be able to get a, a decent amount of orbs. And we do have... Okay, so we'll get 8 orbs right there. It's fine. And we do have the extra 80% um, attack because our HP is under 80% as well. 200k defense he's at right there, huh? Okay. Alright, let's see what Raditz, Great Ape Raditz does on this rotation certainly working a little bit better uh on this full sort of like saiyan lineup that we've got going over here saiyan saga slash pure saiyan rather than kind of like the terrifying conquer planet namek saga yeah 5.98 that was so we see a six million attack stat. I, I feel like his damage is pretty good actually like for what he is like i feel like his damage is pretty good when you get the hp under 80 percent not the worst condition in the world. He can he can do some stuff. I I'm not gonna call this Raditz good. Um, definitely not. But like he he can do some stuff. He's not like a complete L. Um, cause like a six and seven million attack stat by that Raditz, I, dude. I will take that. Right. Uh, this is not like a a Dokkan Fest T War came out this year or something like that. You know, this is kind of like a a really shitty like sub easy. Well. Actually, they're not even sub EZAs, the Raditz, Kid Goku, and Vegeta. I mean, they're actual, like, they they have an actual EZA that they EZA together from, right? So, all right. Um, we might do, like, a, another turn or two, um, and then we'll finish up. Let me know what you guys think of Raditz. I mean, on any given turn, his damage can look pretty good. Um, I think defensively, he's, like, like, potentially solid, depending upon what the rotation looks like. Um, I could certainly see this Raditz being a, a definite asset, um, giant extreme super powder road, stages like that. I, I think this Raditz can be helpful on, for sure. Okay. Um, all right, yeah, this is a, a fine rotation right here. Um, was our our defense got debuffed, was it? No, no, he didn't. That was weird, okay. Um, so we're going to have our passive up again. Uh, I guess we we have seen... Uh, we'll be able to get... No, we'll be able to get seven orbs. Sure, let's give him the seven orbs. All right, let's go ahead and see what Raditz will do. Uh, seven orbs with these links. And, of course, we still have uh, uh, Dokkan Fest Turles on rotation. 
tier list, man. Very helpful, man. That 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 easy A tier list really can help bring some of these uh, teams a little bit closer together. Um, there's, I, I really, uh, Dokkan has already dropped so many villain Dokkan fests this year, right? Like, I, I mean, we went Captain Ginyu, Majin, Vegeta, Raditz, Cell, basically in a row. We, we, we essentially had four villain Dokkan fests in a row, right? Now, sure, Cell came out with the Goku slash Gohan, but, I, you know, four villain Dokkan fests in a row. We're probably going to get a, a lot of hero Dokkan fests coming up. But um, I did like the run of villain characters. Villains need it bad, man. They really do. Villains need so much help because there's just so many more hero characters to play with, right? So um, I, I hope they continue to show this type of love to villains because it's really badly needed, right? Um, but there's Raditz. Um, he was actually, I mean, with our HP under 80%, he's doing good damage, I think. I mean, sure, we have, you know, perfect setups for him, essentially, but um, I, I, fairly impressive. I, you know, I don't... I don't I'm not unimpressed by what Raditz has done um, these last couple turns, for sure. All right, this is Atrocious Crackdown. Raditz, Giant Ape. His leader skill is all types key 4 and 50% of stats. His super attack is the Double Sunday, which greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and does supreme damage to the enemy. His passive skill, Rebellious Low Class Warrior, gives him 80% attack and defense at the start of turn. Then he gets an additional 15% attack and defense per key sphere obtained. Then he gets an additional 80% attack when doing a super attack if HP is 80% or less. And then he turns into a giant ape when conditions are met. Um, so he has a chance of turning into a giant ape up to two times. I believe that's a 10% chance. His links are Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Transform, Saiyan Roar, and Shattering the Limit. While he does have a bunch of good individual links, it is tough finding a good, like, link partner for him that's also, like, strong, who you can activate a bunch of this stuff with. Because, like, I don't know. I don't really consider, like, AGL Grade 8 Vegeta strong, right? Like, not really. Um, Raditz's 12 key multiplier is 130%. Very low. Very low. Um, there's a lot of easy A's Raditz is good in. You know, Physical Kid Boo, Physical Vegeta Jr., Physical Goku Black, right? Um, there's, yeah, just a bunch of these EZAs that, uh, cause, it, cause he's on Goku family, right? Raditz is on the Goku family team. Um, and then finally, uh, Raditz is on quite a few category teams here. Uh, low class warrior, a really bad team, which is good that he's on, right? Uh, then he's over here on giant, another horrendous team, the giant team. So that's the thing. Raditz is on a couple of teams. That's very helpful that he's on, man. Very, very helpful, actually. Um, then Raditz is over here on the Pure Saiyan team as well, which has the best roster in the game, probably. Uh, Raditz is also on the Goku Family category team, right up there is one of the best rosters. Uh, then Raditz is down here on the Terrifying Conqueror category team. Uh, then Raditz is also on Great Ape Power right here, which has not really gotten a lot of units recently. I mean, we could get, definitely get a powerful Dokkan Fest baby or something like that, right? For sure. Uh, then Raditz is also on Space Traveling Warriors as well. Um, and then finally, Raditz is on the Saiyan Saga category team. So uh, let me know what you guys think of EZ8 Grid Ape Raditz. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.